Hey family, welcome back to my thoughts on everything. Family, in the video of today, I'm going to give my thoughts why Caribbean people are going to Ghana, going to Africa, Tanzania, Gambia, and not staying in the West or not going to the West. And with the West, I mean Europe and America, because this is where most of the Caribbeans are living or they are traveling to. I had some interesting conversations with a few people about this, but I will tell you my story, why I have decided to go to Ghana, Africa, and not South France, Spain, Italy, beautiful places. I will tell you, I have been living in the Netherlands for 30 plus years right now. And what I can say is that Netherlands is not a bad place. It's not a bad place to live. Um, Netherlands is a carrying state. However, there are a few things happening and happened. We as black people need to know that it is not our country and the people shows us that it's not our country. You know how many times they told me, go back to Africa, go back to Africa. Some said, go back to Caribbean. If they see you have a color, a little bit brown, black, it's immediately go back to Africa. I used to say to them, you know, I never been to Africa. My ancestors, the slaves you brought over here, they were in Africa, but we are now hundreds of years further. It was all the time getting mad and defending myself because I didn't know where I really came from. And now that there is YouTube, I have seen YouTubers that have shown the place and I thought, hey, this looks like the Caribbean. I gave it a chance. If you go back to my videos, you will see that in the beginning, what my plans were, you know, just go back to the video in the beginning. Buying land, building a house over there, start the e-commerce shop. That's it. Now that I went to Ghana three times, I can say, you know, everyone, Caribbean is beautiful. Caribbean is organized. Caribbean has everything someone need and want to live great if you have a lot of money. Caribbean has been a victim of his own beauty, his own organization, kindness, and those things. Because people from around the world are traveling to the Caribbean. They are buying land, building ridiculous houses. It's not only white, it's Dutch, Americans, all over the place, India, uh, Chinese, uh, black, white, yellow, purple, you name it, everyone, everyone is buying. I'm happy that you know, 90% of Caribbean is black. You know, we managed to keep it like this. However, this is only one part of the story. Why do I say this? Because there are more Caribbeans leaving. And this was the reason. What I just told you, this was one of the reasons. A lot of foreigners are buying and this makes that the indigenous people or the Caribbean people, the young ones, 
they are not able to buy anything over there. They are not able to build the Caribbean. The older ones are selling. And this is one of the reasons why the Caribbean people also go to Africa, to Ghana. Because if they, they know, we know that if we send our money to Europe or America, you know, you are investing in a country that will never become yours. If you talk about mortgage, buying a house in the West, it takes 30 years before the house is yours. If something happened, they take the house, you know what's yours? Great debt. That's what's yours. How many people finish the 30 years of payment? Let me know how many people you know in the comment section below. I want to know. So is it wisdom for the people that are going to Africa to do this? Or is it wisdom to invest in the West? Let me know your thoughts. It's just your thoughts. We are just giving our thoughts over here. We are not insulting anyone. You know, we are just giving our thoughts. Let me know what you think about it. Caribbean people, let me know in the comment section below. People that, you know, didn't know that a lot of people are going to Africa. A lot of Caribbean people, really a lot. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Would you rather invest your time? And I will tell you why I say time and not money. Your time in the West, knowing and seeing what is happening right now, or will you give the motherland a chance? Because, you know what? They see that in 10 years, Africa will be booming. They see it. There are all kinds of calculations made, numbers, graphics, everything. A few weeks ago, I went to the embassy. Listen, listen what I'm going to say. A few weeks ago, I went to the embassy. A friend of mine that is going to Ghana needed a visa. We went over there. Not even one black person. It was filled with Dutch people. Fully, fully, fully. Some of them had even a bag with passports of people that needed visa. What do I want to say? If we don't recognize, others will. Everyone, let me know what you think about it. People that are not Caribbeans, let me know what you think about it. I will also make a video about African Americans because I had a few good conversation with the, with the African Americans coming soon. So if you ask me, Caribbeans are going to Africa because they just don't want to mess their, with their time anymore. That's it. That's it. Maybe today it's not like the West, but tomorrow it can be way better than the West. We have the power now, Caribbean, African-Americans, Black Americans, 
black Europeans, whatever, we have the power to go into the direction we want. We, together with the Ghanaian brothers and sisters. Let me know what you think in the comment section, everyone. Family, click here to see my building project in Ghana, what I'm doing in Ghana. So hit the subscribe button and join my Patreon page. Over there, I have a, a few good videos coming up. Family, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, like, and turn on all the notifications. My thoughts on everything, out.